Hey guys, Kura Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And it's time for yet another mailbag. This is 242, everything off the table. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright, um, I'll just open this because it's small and it has any more. Open it. Mm. Maybe it's those micro Just like parts. your penis. Open it. My name's not You got a tattoo? <laughs> yeah, terrible tattoo. Yeah, but if someone were ever didn't make sense. cut off your penis and throw it into a field, you would know whose it is. Whose right penis is this? Put your address on it. The sad thing is that's happened in life. So. Pop it, right? <laughs> it might yeah. be good to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Deception for the Nightmare Princess. Look at that redhead. Deception. Look at them shoes. Whoa! No. <laughs> There's no no. Like a Tecmo. I can understand why it's for you. I feel like someone saw it's that. Like game. Is there. <laughs> Meet the girl of your nightmares. Wait, is it in? Ooh. It's also in French. Only on. Okay, that's what I said. Thank you. Jupiter. Is that this isn't coffee? It's the only French I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's probably it's like about Canadian release. Building traps. North America. Yeah, what is it about? I've never. The devil has been in prison. Legrina and Valguri face off to see who the true daughter of the devil is, sacrificing souls of humans to free their father. Hmm. So you build traps. You sacrifice souls. Yeah, he's just like this hot redhead, and someone's like, yeah, I'm sending this to Aaron. Well, so, hot redhead, and then... That's exactly what Ram. happened. I think that's literally what happened. <laughs> I'm not mad. Remote play with the PS4? Don't be mad. Get glad. One player? Not sponsored. I'll have to, I'll have to check this out. So cut yep. that out. Ready to him. It's not sponsored. Ready to him Blood, for sang. Sanguine. <laughs> Sexual themes. <laughs> Theme is sexuality. And then violence. I just like, it's like, sang. Blood, sang. <laughs> yeah. Sanguine. Sanguine. I get sanguine. Okay. But it just says sang, and I was like, ah. Like as I was thinking. We it. should reach out to Glad oh. and see if they sponsor us. Who? Glad. Glad. Why? I don't know. If I it can't break like their cool trash company. bags, yeah. then you know they're good. It just seems like a cool company that's every once in a while I'd be like, and speaking of, you know, mad, Glad. It was, it was I'm second. so mad. Yeah. Don't. It's a perfect product. Here, and <laughs> keep doing. Okay, what? Uh, yes, yeah. it was nice. And that guy, I thought for a second from back here, I thought like he was a train. I thought he was like pooping white out. I thought something different now. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. I don't know what this is, but it's already got a little. Okay. Open it. <clears throat> what are you doing? It's open. He's in Zen mode. I was trying to figure out what it was. Oh. oh, are those? They the are! Of chaos. Whoa. Oh. Why'd you give it to him? Because oh. I recognize them. <laughs> oh, I need to put this in my floorboards. I knew what these were before, Eric. <laughs> in your floorboards? Yeah. You didn't know what they were before me. <laughs> wow. So awesome! Dude, those chains are sweet. Pretty good. I those like are that. super like, cool. You need to take those onto the roof and swing them around and shit. Be a monster. But I'm no monster no longer. Oh man, it's so great. I love it. Cool. And the really chain. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, now it's canon. <laughs> well, it's kind of how they work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The blades of chaos. So he wraps them around his arms and like, throws them out and pulls them back. And these are specifically the blades of, blades of chaos. They're not the blades of Athena or the blades of. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have the Omega symbol on Yes. Boy! Yeah, very cool. Boy. Boy. So cool. Like the last year, you're just like, ah, I know this stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I know it's like this, I know it's like that, I know it's this. I legitimately was watching uh, like all cutscenes from all God of War, like last night on my phone. Really? Just randomly. And these are very special, so thanks whoever sent these to all of us blindly, but thank you. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Ooh, we have Thundercats, the complete series. What? Thunder, 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 Thundercats. This. I never saw that. Maybe the newer one? Neither. Thundercats. <laughs> no, I saw that. Oh! It'd be funny, like, neither of us seen it, but we. <laughs> yes, the Thundercats are back. So this is, the, like, the new version, which I have not seen. Oh. <laughs> oh the cats are back in town, huh? And. Oh, yeah, I've seen. 
I haven't seen it, but I've seen like this animation is a little different. Green Lantern, the animated series. Which I hear is fucking oh. awesome, and people were very upset that it uh, ended. 13 episodes on two discs. It's like a uh, Clone Wars style animation. Clone Wars. I like Clone Wars. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mystery Gifter. Mystery. These are awesome. I might check this one out and maybe Mystery. this one too. Yeah. Snarf. Snarf. Barf. Oh, I like the art style. It looks pretty cool. Thank you. Was Barf a mixture of Snarf and a Wookiee? Maybe. What's this? I must be dreaming like a jack. This is in fire. Um, what what is it? this? Whoa. What does it say? It says Darth Revan. Revan. What? Oh, yeah. No spoilers for nothing. I'll double check. Is it a... a it's a shirt. Especially with it coming back. I don't uh, want to spoil yeah. people that don't know anything about the game or anything. Huh. Interesting. So it's a Darth Revan shirt, but the body looks like it could be Mando. Yeah, that's... I think oh, it's like man, a... Yeah. I think it's fan art a fan or something. Fan art. Darth Revan yeah. shirt. Yeah. Hmm. But the yeah the body is definitely Mando, That's which Mando, is yeah. interesting. But just with some cool lore of Darth Revan himself, I could see it. Very cool though. Yeah, I, and the uh, the the purple and the red saber. I always use a blue saber um, whenever I thought of like Darth Revan because like he had like a Jedi version in the comics and stuff. And there was one that was like colored blue. But some people have it like well, canon now it could be purple or red or something like that. So it's always cool. I got home yesterday and the kids have been gone and. Uh, we were moving things around in the basement and whatnot. Yeah. And Leon came home. And, or I came home and Leon was like, "Dad, you want to see what I did?" And I'm like, "I guess so." Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> you know, okay. like what? Did you take a poop on the floor? Like I don't know what. What did you do? So like I went downstairs in the basement and in the basement, there's just piles of like poop. No, not poop. <laughs> there's piles of like wires and controllers and stuff because there was uh, downstairs in the basement was my old TV that I bought in 2008 for like. Two thousand dollars. Sure, like, the, that's the really so much big. bigger. You yeah, know, so thick. where I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna get a nice TV because yeah. I'm working pipeline and stuff, and I got that, and now you can buy the same thing, smaller, better, whatever, sure. for like not even a quarter of the price. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. But I, that, that's still down there, and there's uh, he hooked up my old Xbox 360, which is the R2D2 one. Mm. He hooked it up, and on it was Kotor, and he's like, I started messing with Knights of the Old Republic a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's did cool. you? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And like anything else, like all oh, fruit ninjas on there too, but that's all that's on there. We didn't have the connect. Yeah. And apparently he went upstairs to ask Melanie. He's like, "Mom, where's the connect at? Do you know?" And she goes, "What's a connect?" <laughs> and, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, what?" <laughs> and she's like, "That's what he did." <laughs> well, it was a very cool shirt. Thank you to whoever sent this. And yeah, we're looking forward to that remake. Yes. I just wanted like it's weird. Both to, of these guys haven't played Night Square Republic. It's yeah. so weird to be like, I oh man. I stopped. You know, Final Fantasy VII, I feel like, had the same thing, where it's like, don't... Like, with this coming out, new people are going to be playing these. Don't talk about spoilers yep, from the sure. old game, because you want them to experience... Like, things might be changing, but you also want them to experience the game and sure. not talk about, like, what characters are in it or yeah. what happens or, you know, all that. So, mm -hmm. it's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, every time there's, like, a remake, the spoiler clock resets. It does. <laughs> this one has a my name. Ooh. Is it Green Ranger? Ooh, it is. Mm. Ooh, Green Ranger shirt. Oh, I think it's got a. It's a Ziploc. I think it's a open. hoodie. Uh, it is a hoodie. Oh. It's one of those really nice, lightweight uh, yeah, hoodies. Yeah, oh. That's a nice hoodie. Look at that. What size is it? Oh, mine. Size. <laughs> <laughs> Rip. Oh, what? Whoa, what happened? Oh, dude, it oh, has, has a mask. Mask thing. I, I, oh, I put fuck my head yeah. awesome and perfect for COVID. I put my head into it and I'm like, oh, what's this? And I was like, wait, is it a mask? It's, it's a ninja mask. It's a turtle neck. This isn't mask. just the Green Ranger. Yeah. This is the ninja one. Yeah, I didn't even realize it. Because one. Because still the, seeing this here. On the side. Yeah. yeah. This is so cool. Oh, oh, and it comes that, up. Man. Look at this. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, it's have it over not only is that one eye. Like a, like, it's like a costume ish, ish feeling, but like that's just fucking great for yeah. COVID. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that. Yeah, in the winter or something like that. It's so weird. I can see your face, but can't. Like, yeah, talk. Your, your it, nose is like matched. But it's, a like, bit more. it's like pantyhose. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're going to rob me. No. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is really cool. Yeah, I very like this. cool. This is great. Oh. oh. And I'm actually. Put that yeah, on and it's on. actually like you slide it down, and it's like a like a scarf or something, too, right? It's like Velcro. Oh, it's Velcro in the back. In the back. Mm. Uh -huh. So you can adjust the size. 
Probably. That's cool. Dude, just go put that fucking helmet on and wear that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. What's funny is, like, I was looking, I'm like, oh, man, this is really cool. Yeah. I think I already have one of these kind of things, but I don't, have, don't have that. the ninja one. Like the ultimate turtleneck. Oh, it's so cool. That's really I cool. I like this. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> ah! For me. I keep, I keep looking because I keep seeing new names. Of the sure. Park. I get this one for this one. I always like their ninja outfits that they had for Power Rangers. Because it was like, they had like three forms in that one. They had like no outfits. Mm -hmm. Then they had like a ninja form outfit. And then they had like their actual like ranger suit. Their yeah. armor. I didn't yeah. know that one. I only knew him having the white ninja outfit. The From being in the thing. They mm -hmm. probably, they probably didn't have a ninja, green ninja one. Hmm. No, they wouldn't. In the have. actual series. Because I think his power would have transferred by the time they went gotcha. into that. Because that was like in a weird... It was like a weird power transfer thing they were doing. It was different than what they did in the movies, gotcha. but it was similar. And they had that wo robot. Remember the robot, the police robot mm -hmm. thing? Yeah, I've him been seeing trailers for this Power Rangers fighting game coming out. It looks pretty Power Rangers awesome. fighting game? Like, yeah, like a... Like a uh, Not Battle side Grid or whatever? Like yeah. a, oh, a side-scrolling? Like yeah. beat-em-up thing? Like a beat-em-up. Yeah. <gasps> no, no, no. It's like... Um, I, I think fighter? it's supposed to be like Street Fighter or okay. Mortal Kombat. But okay. it's... Yeah. They've had like a... Uh, Power Rangers like Battle for the Grid and some mm -hmm. different things that have been like an app and it's very simplistic yeah. and they've been slowly like getting more and more. Oh, I remember you playing them. that. Yeah, yeah. And this one seemed pretty legit in terms of like like an actual uh, fighting like, game. Like Fighter Z. Hmm. You know what? Interesting. Hmm. What we got. We have a letter. Good day, crew. Long time watcher, first time sender from Toronto. Uh, picked you guys up during Rebels season three. I had to watch your clips to get a basic understanding of the episode because I didn't want to pirate the episode but didn't have the station it was playing on. Enjoyed the passion and analysis. Finally got the channel and, con and continued to watch. Good. I picked up all your Star Wars content and it has only grown from there. I did start watching the podcast late last year but decided to go back and watch from the beginning as wow, I write this. Geez. I am on 138. <laughs> wow, that's some progress. How many do we have? Seven left to catch up. Seven! All right, you answered. As it. from the time of writing. Yeah. Um, that's it, because we started that after mailbags. So yeah. I knew it was less than 242. <laughs> yeah. One day I realized that I had access to Black Sails and on your recommendation I started watching it only to realize that it was only one season uh, uh, so I had to go buy it. Uh, and it was okay. Twenty five dollars on Amazon. They liked Not too it bad. enough, though. They liked it enough. Yeah. Uh, Not too bad. Finally, I went back and enjoyed every mailbag, uh, and I love watching the sheer joy you guys get Jeez. from receiving gifts from the fandom, and also realize my own jealousy for all the amazing things you've received. In mailbag number 52, you received a box of movies, and one of those movies uh, was one that Calvin said was one of his favorites. Um, Stargate, or Aladdin, or... Oh my gosh! The what last Starfighter. Starfighter. Whoa! This is crazy! Is it's autographed? It's autographed by the, the by main both? characters. That's amazing. Show! That's a great movie. Show it. I need to read this. <laughs> I've never seen it. Uh, a few years ago, I had the opportunity to see this movie on an IMAX screen at the Science Center in That's Edmonton, cool. Alberta, cool. with both Lance Guest and Catherine Mary Stewart there. Wow. That's cool. That's amazing. Um, what an amazing experience. I've had this in my laptop bag since, and I never <laughs> put it up, so I figure you guys might want it. Yes, Absolutely. Uh, I have their signatures on my Blu-ray case, so I still have something. Oh, oh that's, gotcha. that's good. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And not sure if Rick and Aaron have seen it. Eric said that he had in the mailbag, mm -hmm. but maybe you can watch it in a reaction anyway. It's hope been a you guys long time. are well. Keep up the great content. <laughs> no, I've never seen it. This is up oh. there with. Uh, Need to watch it tonight with Evie. This came out in the eighties. Late eighties. Late eighties. Yeah. There's a movie I always, always forget the name. About a kid from the robot suit. No, oh. that's Star Kid. That's true. I remember that one. This is about a kid who is flying in a flying saucer. Flying the Navigator. That's it. That's. I always forget the name of it, and he like just finds a spaceship. He's flying in it. Fucking love that movie. And it plays a Beach Boys song. Yeah. Round, round, yeah, get around. I get around. Yeah, that song. That's when I started liking Beach Boys. Was that song. Yeah. He's like going down the highway. These guys are driving. He's like, Jah! I shouldn't default to the high part. <laughs> Probably not, but it's the most fun. Ugh. Anyway, thank you so much, Stefan Van Skyk. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stefan. That's yeah. awesome. That's very, really cool. very cool. I was like, man, what movie have I seen that yeah. 
even some of them have not. Yeah. That's why I said Stargate at first. I'm like, well, we hadn't yeah. seen it back then. Yeah, sure. Like, what was it? Cool. Thank Watching you so much. Tonight. Yeah, you. it's it such a good movie. I'm slowly inching everyone towards the scary time of the year, so I'm trying to get them into more scary stuff. Although we did watch the first episode of Bad Batch. Nice. Yeah. And Kanan loves Wrecker, and he wanted to watch more Bad Batch. Cool. Good. Which is the first time that he's not really been like, more Star Wars? Can't we watch my hero? <laughs> <laughs> the boy had to... So I was like, hey, it's Star Wars night. You guys ready? Kanan's like, I kind of want to watch my hero. And Mel's like, shh, Kanan. <laughs> Yeah, but he loves Wrecker. He's so funny. He stayed awake the whole time, didn't fall asleep, didn't want to go to bed. Last time we watched the movie, Ayla fell asleep during uh, episode three. And then Kanan came back downstairs after going upstairs to go to bed. Came back downstairs to me and said, how come Ayla got to go to sleep and I had to stay awake? (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, you came back down here to say that? A little shit. (laughs) Go to bed. (laughs) Very cool. Thank you. Awesome. Made from somewhere. Made from somewhere. <laughs> You're doing like some. I figured it's a good one to give to you because a lot of times he sends board game things. Uh, Steve Irwin pop. Oh, what? Crocodile Hunter. Did you guys see that there's like some never before seen footage like released like it's shortly before his death, mm. but yeah. it's like him up on the surface like. Talking with like it's like new footage that people haven't seen no. before and stuff. Mm-hmm. I saw oh, that yeah. was. Really no, I watch uh, people were freaking out because they're like, "Oh my god, why would you show this?" Like it's not like yeah. before. It says sure. before his death. Sure. But people sure. were like, "Oh my god, why would you show this kind yeah. of stuff?" And it's sure. like it's just him like talking. Uh, uh, Jancy and I watch uh, Crikey, it's the Irwins. Yeah, I've seen some of that with his kids yeah. and his wife. I think. Dude, right? Robert yeah. is like a spitting image of. Him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and he's like you can tell that you know. He's not his dad, but he's a brave kid. Like, and he's he's really trying to fill those boots. Yeah, and they were giant boots. Steve Irwin, <laughs> man, he's. But like, I, I watched that show, and like his best friend, that like you you, know, you see him, he's back there on the tail of the crocodile, you know, in this old in the old one, and he's like training his son. Yeah, to, like fucking gets me. Oh yeah. yeah. No, we watched like the first. It was coming out when we were watching it. I think yeah. it was like a new weekly show, and we were watching that, and I fallen behind, but it was. There was some of those moments and stuff too yeah. where like they're talking about like kind of training him and stuff like that and it was really good. Yeah. I liked it. And I was thinking about like when I used to watch this when I was younger and stuff too. But we saw that meme like what was it two weeks ago where it was like a guy that was time traveling. He's like, I'm gonna go back and kill that man array. And then he's like, No, he wouldn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't want that. Yeah. Like he put himself in dangerous positions oh, yeah. to get close with the animals yeah. and he was and a lot of the stuff that they talk about that in the in the new one too, the Crikey, mm-hmm. the Irwin's was like, you know, it's about the nature preserve and yep. these animals and taking care of them and stuff too. And there's danger in it because they're animals, but sure. there's also like they, you know, there's so many endangered species. <laughs> yes, it's fulfilling. Yeah. yeah. This uh, has the Australia Zoo on here, home of the crocodile hunter. I hope that maybe some of the proceeds of the Funko Pop go to that because they do a lot of good work, especially with Australia and the wildfires right now. They really need it. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. Thank you. All right. It's to me. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Same feel. No. Yeah. There's a zip. Yeah. There's a zip. Yes. You didn't even zip lock it. I'm going to give you a zip. Aaron, you have green power. I... Uh huh. <laughs> Go on. Maybe not. You don't say. Nice. Okay, got you. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly well fit. Yeah, it's not bad. Turn both on. Yep. Now we can do the remake to the Beverly Hills Ninja that we always wanted to do. We could do that. Eric, you you looked impressive before, but now you look so pedestrian. Because <laughs> of the glasses? Yeah, with the glasses. You wouldn't have a guy with glasses, would you? Very cool. Thank you. Nice. Thumbnail, I guess. You could also make uh, three ninjas. We just need one more ninja. Yes, that would be three. Well, you can't see the third. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh. Ooh, that came a little close. What we got, Aaron? 
Green Lantern. Oh. Rise of the Red Lantern. Ooh. 13 oh. episodes. Miniseries. Or is it another season? It's the same art style as the other one. I don't know. The animated series. Okay, cool. So maybe like a season two. Green Lantern, Rise of the Red Lanterns, the animated series, season one, part one. Oh. oh. So maybe the other one we got was part two? Ah. Oh. Must have been. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh! One that spine. Season one, part two. There you go. Yes, it's all coming together. Kikashi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun to say. It is. I really love the way he says Kikashi. So Kikashi. Great. Dear crew of Blind Wave. Hi. I realize this will probably get buried, and you'll probably forget about this letter. But I couldn't think of a better way to reach you, and I've never been very popular on Twitter. Hmm. I'm writing to you to give you two suggestions for shows to react to. Okay. Neither is the hottest new show. Mm -hmm. One's been around for a decade, while the other is nearing a decade. But they're both pretty damn good story-driven cartoons that were both canceled after a single season of 26 episodes. The shows I'm talking about are Thundercats 2011, you can watch it on Hulu, and Green Lantern, the animated series. Not sure where you'd be able to find it, but that one... Uh, but that one DC Comics app hopefully has it. <coughs> it might be on HBO Max now. Yeah, it's the true. The animation for Thundercats is gorgeous. Gorgeous! And was animated by a Japanese anime company. Oh. In addition, it boasts a stellar voice cast that includes Will Friedle. Uh, Will Ron- Friedel? Is that oh. how you pronounce it? I love Will Friedel. Ron Stoppable. <gasps> but he's... Uh, the cat. Snarf. <laughs> Matt Mercer. Mm. Kevin Michael Richardson. Ooh, hey, you know that's him. the guy with that's the blue the shirt. <laughs> Pamela Alden. Mm, Pamela. I don't know that one. Bobby Hill. <laughs> you don't know Pamela Alden. Bobby? Hill. Yeah. Wait, From King of the Hill? As in King of the Hill. Bobby. 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 Yeah. Yidgets. i never seen King of the Hill. He's like the really... Ah, daddy! That one. I, I can't remember any lines specifically. All I know is like... Is, Bobby. It the, is it the one who's like holding up the signs? Like if those kids could read, they'd be really mad. Is it that, that's the one that held the sign, right? Don't. I just know the meme. Know. I, I don't know. You know the meme? I, that's yeah. Where the it's he's like holding a sign and it says like whatever something like kind of insulting to the people inside. And it's like if those people kids in there could read, they'd be really mad. <laughs> but it just depends on what it is. Tara Strong. Oh, I know that. Name. Cree Summer. Apparently, Kida. I don't know. Corey Burton. Mm. Corey Burton, I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dooku. Indeed. Uh, Jason Marsden. Oh, Max. Max Goof? Yeah, Maximilian. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Jeffrey Combs from yeah. The Reanimator. Okay. Um, and Larry Kenny. 80s Lion. SpongeBob? No. 80s Larry. Lion. No, that's. It's something Kenny, is it? Tom Kenny. Yeah, that sounds right. I, it always gets messed up with Tom Kane. I was like, wait a minute. That's, no, that's Yoda. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, G-L-T-A-S. Green Lantern, the animated series. Read it. Not helping. Let him read it. Calvin, continue. <laughs> wait, Jason. G-L-T-A-S is a CGI animated show from the Giancarlo Volpe, uh, who directs episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender mm. with James Krieg, uh, with character designs from Bruce Tim. Mm, Bruce Tim. Its main cast I'm consists really of Josh Keaton, Kevin Michael Richardson, Jason Spisak, and Gray Delisle Griffin. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah um, Azula. Uh, okay, I gotcha. Uh, the Azula of the gotcha. Sizable portion of the show is dedicated to the romantic relationship that forms between Defector Red Lantern, Led... The, Red Lantern Razor Red Lantern and Aya uh, Spaceship's AI Aya! Their dynamic and motifs are essential uh, essentially that of a gender bent version of Wanda and Vision's relationship Oh, interesting What I'm saying is you should definitely check out both series They won't take you that long and you'll most likely like them Uh, Even if you don't you won't have much you won't have wasted much time. Mm. Sincerely, a fan from Kansas. Thank you, a fan from Kansas. I've heard good things about the Thundercats one. Yeah. I've not heard of the Green Lantern one. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. 
Yeah, I see the Bruce Tim design now. Bruce Tim did the animated series, and you can see it in the chin. Yeah, <laughs> in the chin. Very yeah. square, chin. large chin. Yeah, it makes me think Incredibles a little bit too. Mm. Probably inspired, right? I believe it's my turn. He's just math. trying to figure out whether he gets a big one or not. He's doing no, math. I'm trying to make sure. Of I trust you, Aaron. That. You fool! I don't trust you. You dropped that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, All that's right. Pretty. So, Miskatonic University, uh -huh. which is a fictional university from the Lovecraft stories. Oh, okay. Warning: cursed object inside. Oh goodness! Shouldn't we leave it in there then? Probably. I'll read the note. The note's not cursed. What does it? Do not break seal unless authorized. You're not authorized yet. Make sure we show how awesome that the letterhead's the letterhead's letter pretty legit. legit. Very good. Anthropology department, and it's got the address for Arkham. <laughs> yeah. Arkham. Yeah, I like that's a city that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Arkham, Massachusetts. Still went through the post or, though. M yeah, MA is Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts. I do believe. Ooh. Oh no. Bert. Ooh. Which one should we do first? Should open so, I'll do it this. Should we open everything else first? Just in case. <laughs> Richard, my boy. It certainly has been a while, hasn't it, friend? I do hope this letter finds you in both good health and good spirits. As for me, things here at the university have been busier than ever, I'd say. In our line of work, I have no doubt you can relate, which brings me to the primary reason for this correspondence. As you may have heard, our department recently received a rather sizable donation from some local benefactors. As you're well aware, interest in the anthropological studies have been lacking in recent years, to say the least, so you can imagine my excitement when I got a call from the Dean. Thanks to the most generous contributions of Ms. Baba, Mr. Ryu, as well as the wise Mr. Griff, we were successfully able to fund our most recent expedition. I was beginning to think my days of field work were over, to be quite honest with you. I find much pleasure in teaching here, of course, and New England is so beautiful this time of year. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't overjoyed at the prospect of going on one last survey to top off my career. Both excites and frightens me. And that's <coughs> saying something. Something that, in my professional opinion, I can only classify as cursed. Now, you know that I'm not a particularly superstitious fellow. In my line of work, I've certainly come across my fair share of dark omens and foreboding folklore. Mm. Eldritch horrors of the mind are prevalent in every culture from every time. But this, Richard, I swear nothing has shaken my core quite like this. We have been out there That's for why it's cursed, Eric. <laughs> We've been out there for three weeks already. More morale was low, and our grant money was running thin. <laughs> we had nothing to show for our efforts aside from the dirt and mud that crusted our boots. I was ready to pack up camp and call it quits when one of my students unearthed the box. I was beyond elated, of course, and I rode over to the dig site, still nursing my morning cup of coffee, might I add. But when I laid eyes on that infernal box, it filled me with a dread unlike anything I've ever felt before. Yet still, I took a closer look. My ego wouldn't allow me to cower away, and certainly not in front of my students. However, upon translating the warning inscribed on the sanctum's wall, it became clear to me that under no circumstances should this seal be broken. So I had it secured safely, loaded onto transport, and we departed for the States the very next day. Unfortunately, the journey home would not be uneventful. One of my student aides, charming lad, comes from a wealthy family in the Berkshires. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to abate his curiosity, and against my strict instructions, he attempted to look inside. The poor boy hasn't spoken a word since. So please believe this old fool when he tells you that this artifact must be treated with the utmost caution. Truthfully, I'm reaching out to you with much trepidation, in spite of my ever-growing curiosity, but I truly could think of no one better suited than you. These type of matters have always been your area of expertise, and I frankly wouldn't trust this in the hands of anyone else. Nevertheless, I implore you to be careful, my friend. Please do inform me of your findings, perhaps over dinner some night when you're next in town. It'd be wonderful to catch up with you. Give Margaret and Evelyn my best as always. Your friend and colleague, Professor N. Ottmack, Head of Anthropology, Miskatonic University, Arkham MA. Mm -hmm. P.S. I included the initial translation of the warning that accompany the box. I dared not write it out again. Very nice. Why do you catch it on fire? Notes. <laughs> <laughs> Told her. By touch of hand or curious gaze upon this cursed totem. By touch of hand or curious gaze upon this cursed totem placed. 
Be warned, beware, horizon wakes the souls who suffer dreadful fate. If further still ye venture in with disregard, this warning heed, the horrors that will soon be seen by mind and heart of twisted breen. Oh, no. <laughs> Cursed! Fuck! What could it be? What are you doing? What? You can't open it. I have to now. Break right. the seal! What do you mean? Break the seal! No, don't break the seal. Don't don't go too crazy, too. You don't know what it'd be, right? You better do it. Could be anything in there. Yeah, let him do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you open it. Aha, he broke the seal. I'm fine. Yeah, but I was authorized. So. You weren't. You weren't authorized. There has been no authorization to open this. Man, they used an entire sharpie. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, this is so that cool. Looks so cool! <laughs> Nothing else. But it's cursed! This is cursed. Dr. Cursed. Not Mac said don't open it. I mean, Aunt Mac. Dr. N. Aunt Mac. I hope yeah. this is glue. There's another way to open it. Don't, just leave it closed. Put a padlock on it. You can't put a padlock on rope. You can, you can do this, whatever you want. Look! This is an anti rope device. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What's all over it? Oh, good. It's still sealed. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know how to Puzzle open box? Okay. Oh, okay. Rick, you broke the seal! Rick, no! Oh, God. Why are you touching it? Oh, it's covered in spider webs. Am I supposed to continue to open it? Or is <laughs> yeah, this it? I would just leave it there. <laughs> you're going to lose I a hand. I feel like you're de it's demanded that you keep opening it. You keep yes. going you further, this further. Far. What could it be? What What's could the it be? the worst thing that could happen? Death! You're ahead. <laughs> That's not the worst thing that could happen, to be fair. Your penis could be thrown into a field. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what, my name on it? That's his name on it. Fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I love the production value of this so much. What is it? Ha! <laughs> yeah. It's gross! Oh, man. Oh, my gosh, he found it! He what is found it? What is this? This is from... So this is from a Neil Breen movie. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And is it a cursed object? It, it is. It is a magical object, <laughs> to be sure. As I was oh watching it, oh, my gosh. I was like, I need to get me one of them. Okay. I can't here believe it is. It is ugly. found it. Is it a cat? It's something. It's so, impossible to say, really. Is it a mustache? But this is from the, the film Twisted Pear. Twisted Pear. Yes. Neil Breen's most recent film. I just want to say. But thank some God, people, not his last. There's some people that are like, why do they keep watching bad movies? We have not been watching bad movies. No. We've been watching not good movies, but not <laughs> bad movies. Yeah. So there's it's going to get worse. So calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it will if you don't. Oh, man. As soon as I saw the leg, I was like, oh my gosh. I know what it is. I can't say anything. It's I can't, amazing. I can't do anything. That's so uh, great. I, the presentation We've of gotta, this whole thing was amazing. Now we have to watch it. What? Yeah. No. It, that, is this why is, this was the curse? <sighs> Who did this? I just uh, have to say. Well, there's Ms. Ms. Yeah. Baba. Yep. And then there was a Ryu. Ryu. And there was a Griff. Go which? Back. And then there was an Otmat. Ms. Baba watched it with me. Yeah. So she knew... Mac didn't watch it, right? No. So he just found this randomly, or what? <laughs> well, she, um, Baba knew that I like fell in love with this thing, so she probably love. relayed. I just want to say props to the presentation, the Amazing. wrap, the the rope, the spider webs, the um, the letter, the letterhead, intro the, to the Call of Cthulhu uh, adventure. They are yeah, spider webs, the, aren't they? The uh, burnt paper. Yeah. No, it's very awesome. Amazing. Amazing. And I need to somehow keep this with me always. Like, I don't want to put it back there because I want it at home. Yeah, I don't want it at home it. because I want it here. Yeah, we don't need it here. Dig home. <laughs> <laughs> the curse is that we might have to watch this. That's the curse. It has a mustache. Put it in your car. Or something. That it's, goes with you always. Is that a hole? It's not a good idea. Is that a hole? Let's change it so no. it's a bobblehead. Put it on your dash. I don't want to touch <laughs> Where? His mouth. Is his mouth a hole? It's not a hole. It's like... I wonder a where yeah, he found it or did he make it? I don't know. It must exist. Because I doubt Neil Breen made it for his movie. But maybe he did. It says M R. Somebody on the made this. Like, someone made it. What's Mac's last name? Does it start with an R? Not, attack. Not an R. It's no. not an R. No. It's attack. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> 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 
His name is not really Mac Attack. This is so great. Yeah. It is in my mind. Thank you, guys. That was great. You do not deserve this. Uh, yeah, you do. Do you want to preserve this stuff? Man, I guess. Yeah. Wrap it back up. Yeah. All right. Wrap it up. You, you can Let's do the same it. thing with Maggie. You can you just... Can. Here, look at this, Maggie. Open oh, this. Okay. Or even. No, Curse her? He's a wrap them. Not wrap them. <laughs> <laughs> Burlap sack. What could it be? What could it be now? This is what was in the sack for the wicker man. It all comes together. Oh yeah. I thought they were bees. It's all coming together. Yeah. I've never seen it. I don't know. Although that also probably doesn't bleed, so I don't know. We'll never know. How do you burn though? How do you burn? <laughs> there you go. Just a little force. Yeah. He's sticking out right here. Fuck. <laughs> Just a little force, though. That'll do it. Yeah. Ooh, force with cursed objects always works. Oh, like, okay. Thank is you. It, is the box made of wood or cardboard yeah. or what? It it's feels wood. like a very thin wood. <laughs> yeah, that left remnants. Ah! Yeah! Shut my little finger! <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. Put that with it, too. Please. Because the envelope is neat. It is. And they gave me, um, for my birthday, that... Cthulhu Adventure. This is to yeah. me. Yeah. I was sure it was going to be Candyland. First <laughs> <laughs> oh, object. Oh, that worked. <laughs> no, Rick. Ooh. Other people wouldn't say Candyland is cursed. Oh. Okay. <coughs> so this is a Star Wars Black Series card of, like a gift uh, card? of Vazam. Vazam is one of the, uh, the Nikto on... Uh, Jabba's sail barge. Uh, Vizam Wessel, right? And the M O K D luxury sail barge. The Force is with you! But it's a card, it's not the actual figure. So, is it a custom piece? I don't believe that is. I don't know. Let's see what's in here, though. And we got. Ooh, sweet! Okay, so this is uh, one of the comic collection pieces. Very well packaged. Uh, I'm sure I'm uh, able to open this part. I just won't open that. Double layered. As it should be. So, uh, the comic collections were old Expanded Universe comics that they made figures from. Oh, this know. one is uh, Star That's... Wars Legacy with uh, Cade Skywalker and Darth Talon. This series took place... About a hundred years after Return of the Jedi. It's or the red years. like Twilight Sith, right? The red Twilight Sith, yeah. I've seen Darth Talon. Uh, this was um the one Sith, I think. So there was like a like it was a but like you know, there was the rule of two, but for the one Sith we are one, but they were like Legion pretty much. Anyway, so this is really cool. I actually don't have this comics pack, so very fantastic. Uh John Ostrander uh, wrote this series. That's and cool. I have like I have this is number two. Yeah, they have a few two. of these, right? Because I'm pretty sure at home I have yeah. one that's like from Shadows of the Empire or something like that. And it has like uh, Prince Sizor yeah. and someone else in it. Mm -hmm. And then a comic. The Pokemon? But uh, no, I have uh, every issue of this series. So having this is awesome. Very, very, very cool. And Kate is an interesting type of Skywalker. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, thanks. Whoever. Thank you, Bangarang. Uh, Bangarang, yes. I didn't see Bangarang earlier. I was too focused on Vazam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool way to have Bangarang have a postcard. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's going in my collection. Oh, no. Time-sensitive material. P.S. Lightweight. Yeah, it looks like time passed. <laughs> <laughs> time is not kind. It imploded. Open it from this side, I suppose. Is there a hole in it? Yeah. That's what I was wondering. They're not air holes to breathe, are they? Oh, God, because they covered it with tape. <laughs> what is this? You tell oh, me. Oh, interesting. Huh, huh, huh. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. I don't know why it's time How did it survive? Some sort of it figure. It looks like it might be alive, though. I can't quite tell what it is. It looks like... Kind of oh, there's a Charizard or something. Yeah, and a Pikachu. Who's that guy? Are they on a boat or something? I'm boat. On a boat, motherfucker. Oh, they're coming out of a Game Boy. Boat. Damn it, Rick. Shut up. Oh. 
You're taking too long, Aaron. I'm trying, we gotta okay? We got ourselves That's somehow. Cool. You can sit there and be calm for a second. Ugh. Oh, cool. Neato. Those will pop out. Well, now I know it's cool. Dude, look at it. So... Ooh. Look at all the stuff it's got. Yeah. It's a, oh, it's is a that Game the Boy and then a Game Boy uh, Advance. Advanced. Oh, okay, I see it. And then there's a Pokey Dex. There is a cartridge. A game cartridge. Oh, that's, that's pretty so cool. Cute. Backpack. Backpack, backpack. I love the pixelization of Pikachu's lightning. Mm. Like it's very blocky. Where does this go? The only thing I can think of is that they go up here. Right there? Is that like a little... Oh, it's like a little... A little like Pokemon person. Let's look at the box to see. Oh, Sprite? Oh, oh, okay. But no, it's got Mew, uh, Pikachu, and Charizard all coming out. Is that Ash's house? Stuff. Where? Behind the Game Boy. Uh, Pallet Town. Yeah, it could be. That, that this house. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a little house from like the old Game Boy games. They're people. Yeah. Let me see. Well, one is a person, and I'm not sure what the other one is. It's a dog. I don't think it's a dog. Maybe it, like, Wolf. sits... Does it, like, sit on no. the edge there? Yeah, this is just red from... Yeah. Origin. Yeah. But it's a really cool statue. Yeah, I like it. I like really the cool. concept and design, the backpack, the Pokedex, mm -hmm. the little extra Game Boy in the back. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And the Pokey flute over here, I like. The music coming out of it. I had so many, like, types of game, handheld game systems in my life, but nothing compares to the feel of an old... First generation Game Boy. There's just something about it. Like it's brick, it's thickness. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, yeah. I never had one. And then add like a magnifying glass on top of it. Cool. Thank you so much. Yes. They yeah, also awesome. had them, like they colored them too, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. I need to do that. Could take like a little Sharpie to them. I don't know what yeah. the hell this little dog thing is anyway. It's not Bulbasaur, so what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. Thank you so much. We'll have to set it aside and make sure we don't lose those. Uh, Oh, we need to maybe glue them on. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Like that one doesn't necessarily look like a Pokemon, I feel like. Is that, that, his, you could put is that like his sister? A, you could put like an emblem on there of some kind of game. Yeah, yeah you could just make a sticker. a sticker. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. I like it. It's really cool. Don't break it or lose it. Be careful, Eric. Ooh, a new installment of Saga. Saga. Two new installments. Look at that so this zebra. Is eight and nine. Dang it, Rick. <laughs> do, 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 do. Awesome. Thank you, who sent these. Yeah. Thank you very no much. name. The Saga. I like how colorful that zebra is. Mm. It's, a, that's weird. it's a rain zebra. That's weird. They're generally not colored. They're usually black and white. Yeah. It's like uh, zebra bubble gum. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Saga. Good name for like a the saga. It is what it is. The saga. A figure. Oh. oh. Whose? Mine. Yeah. It's oh. a D and D maybe. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, the Sapphire shit. Dragon. Oh, shit. Uh, why do you keep giving Brick evil figurines? Oh, look yeah, at that. right? Can you give us, like, a bunch of treasure or something? <laughs> or, like, lawful good... Rick, I think you have it up there now. <laughs> okay, there you go. I see. That thing's really, really big. It's yeah. really big, and oh, it's, yeah, it's translucent. Big. Gargantuan. One figure Stars inside. On they, they have to tell you inside the box so you don't get confused. Maybe there's more. Yep. And I like his boxes, like a his board. Yeah. His like treasure and stuff mm -hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. That's a big dragon. Mm-hmm. The big boy. Oh, his wing. Oh, he's got off. a wing off. <laughs> he's even bigger than the box. The glittering sapphire dragons are the most territorial of all the gym dragons to, to a dangerous degree. They collect magical weapons and armor as the centerpieces of their hordes and vault them away in isolated caverns. A sapphire dragon's psionic nature is evident in horn and bone structures of their body. Their tail, barbs, and horn tips are all separate pieces, but they float in place, held aloft by the dragon's psychic force while the dragon lives. 
these levitating horns and spines shift slightly as the dragons move, bobbing in amusement or flaring dangerously with anger. Its scales and wing membranes are varied shades of blue, ranging from the light tones of a spring sky to the rich crystalline azure of a sapphire gem. This is cool. And compressed glacial ice. Oh, the inside of the box. In the light, many of their scales glitter and shine with lum luminous starburst images. Over 160 millimeters tall, this miniature is based on the all-new art for the Sapphire Dragon released by Wizards of the Coast's 45th anniversary of Dungeons & Dragons. Completely translucent with gem-like effects on the wings and body, this dragon is great foe for your next adventure or a beautiful piece for display. Come, get your flashlight. Light it up! And look, the inside is a diorama. Yeah, Rick said about that. Like it having its yeah, hoard it of treasure. Yeah. yeah, I can't see through the dragon the hoard, but I like the other side. I didn't get to see the left side. That like watery. Mm -hmm. Ah! This shining dragon! Is... <laughs> dragon! Dragon! Ah. Quit blinding me! Nope, the sapphire dragon. That's only adult. Yeah. Not elder. God, Gantu is fucking huge. <laughs> That's awesome. God damn, it's so bright. Thank you for the <laughs> dragon. Thank you. I hope I never have to fight That wasn't him. even the brightest setting, Eric. It says Calvin Grove. Nah, I don't know. It's too late. Calvin already knows what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. So I can't remember. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no, this is one along I'll give with it up. that other one. Like, we had things that came here, and we're like, what the heck is this? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you remember what it is? No. <laughs> you remember <laughs> Oh. No. Oh. Well, one for me, one for you guys. This is 100 Ice Pops. Oh. oh. Right. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Otter Pops. Yeah, was, these came to our normal mail, and we opened them very confused. Like, these are heavy. We didn't order these. The bottom was open. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How's we have known? Uh, a gift for you from S. S, Miss S. 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 Otter Pops. All right, well, we put these in the fridge and... These are like the ones in the little plastic wrap, right? Freeze them up! Yeah, like the, the tubes. Six, Six zippy, zippy flavors. flavors. Cool. A hundred are so heavy. A hundred! A hundred in here! There's a hundred in there! A hundred one-ounce pops. Pop Popular otter pops. pops. I got you, okay. Otter. A hundred otter ounces. Pop, pop, otter pop. Otter, otter pop. How much is a pound? 16, right? Yeah. No, I think I'm gallons. Yes. It's about 6.25 pounds. Yeah. I'm just going to do the math. It says it right Thank you, S. Thank you. Calvin wants to look at it. You can tell if they're going to be good by the Probably color. Probably want to freeze them first. Oh, I'm going to eat it. Oh, yeah, be good. it comes in loops. Uh, like glow sticks. So you can freeze these and then you make armor out of them? Yeah. Mmm, bangerang. Exactly. Crazy how much more defensive this would be if these were frozen. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, that's, uh, that's cool. Man, they're really packed in there, too. Huh. See how, like, bullets don't really go through much water. Like, they hit the water, they didn't lose all their... What if you could make, like, water armor somehow? Water armor? No. I oh, don't know. <laughs> Not really. People know you, you would need a lot of water. People yeah. have tried. You know, much, you know how heavy water is, too? Yeah, I do. Like, and how much you would need? Yep, I can't be shot. <laughs> you, you can! You can. <laughs> but you might not be hit where they were aiming. It might go like... Because like a lot of times when it hits water, like the bullets like curve weird ways, too. Sometimes. Three to Depends on if the bullet deforms. Each otter. Otter, not... Just as the last one. Adam. That's the last one. To Aaron. Use your instincts. Live in the moment. Yeah. It's good advice. Mm. I'm assuming I should read this first. Yeah. I like how the, it's in, like, a book in my phone. Huh. 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 Aaron, this is your Christmas and birthday gift <gasps> from me. But since Rookie and Pikachu also contributed to it as a Discord gift, you get it extra early. That's Jancy. Jancy. We have a heart, Jancy. Mm. Heart... I was told to also be careful cutting into this. Yes, be careful. Now, you guys already got your gifts, right? I was very careful cutting into mine as well. Jancy got me this for Christmas. Mine's at home, but it's cool dice. You got some dice? Calvin, you got some dice? Yes, I did. Aaron? 
mean, you got some dice. I was like, Jancy, wow, you, you got some dice. dice. <laughs> I was like, she already gave me those, uh, there was the Pikachu earbud. Well, earbuds. that was just because it, she couldn't use them. Yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, but these are great. She was like, who would appreciate this? I'm like, you know. They're great. That can be it. That's all I need. I didn't need that. But you use them. Oh, yeah, I do. A lot. I like how you can, like, tap them to pause and mm-hmm. all that stuff, too. And I've used them as my microphone, too, yeah. like on the phone. They work pretty well. Mm-hmm. I'm like, because I always, like, I'll call Melanie, like, hey, sure. can you tell I'm talking in a thing? <gasps> I see a Bulbasaur. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. What the hell is this? It's a 90s Is it a jacket? Windbreaker. Whoa! That's actually really It's a coat! Bad. What the hell? <laughs> Why is this box so heavy? Because it keeps ricing. It's, so it's tripod. Mercy. Oh, look at that jacket. Oh, she pulled that out. I'm like, he's going to love that jacket. I can't believe it's a yeah. giant ball. It's, it's, a, it's a big jacket, too. I don't know. What are we doing in my pocket? It's a poofy. It's a poofy jacket. Calvin, don't grab that. Quit. I'm looking for trash to put in it. I no. threw my trash away oh. already. Oh. oh. Yeah. They snap. They do snap. Look at the happy balls are. He's very happy. Just a sp- Sharpie marks. No. Do you have a belt on right now? Let me see the back. Huh? Do you have a belt on right now? No, I don't. Dang it, I thought for sure you'd have your Bulbasaur no, belt on. No, I didn't put it on. Yeah. <laughs> his, it's on my his, shorts. Sure, gotcha. His, Let me uh, see the back. buckle. Like, oh, yeah, what's the back look like? Yeah. Ooh. Look at the back. Is it the same image or is it different? No, it's a different Oh, no, you no, gotta look different. at it, man. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me put it on. That's cool. I just turn you it look around, at it. Probably. And by that, I mean warm. What is that for fall? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's like... It's like insulated. Dual insulated. I love oh, it says Bulbasaur. I love the orange in the middle. Right. That's cool. See it? The liner? Yeah, the liner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like it's going to be warm. She wasn't sure That's on nice. the uh, what size it should go. I was like, oh, I mean, if it's a coat, go a little bigger. You don't want it to sure. be too small. Sure, because it's going to go over top of whatever yeah. clothes and muscle. Ah! Over top Wearing of and stuff. Yeah, giant arms. Yeah. My arms, sure. Yeah. Or my... Big old arms. My, uh, my Green Ranger. <laughs> yeah, right. I could have that on over top. I'm like, this is really cool. Uh, thank you, yeah. and thank you, uh, thank you, Jancy, I guess, and also thank you to Rookie and Pikachu. 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 So all three of you guys, thank you so much. Very nice. Very cool. And very early. Yeah, it's very early. Extremely early. It is very, very early. Well, it's, I mean, you use it, huh? It's gonna chill up soon. Uh, I mean, yeah. <coughs> Stop! You're gonna pop a bubble for it. Well, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Yep. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a great mailbag, and we'll see you guys back here next time. Dang it, I thought there would be another pop to end oh. the video. And that more. Isn't Calvin. This is fucking useless. Thank you for watching this mailbag. If you want to see more and everything else that we do, subscribe so you get notifications for when we release videos here on YouTube. Also, check out all of our reaction series as well, where we react to shows like Twitch and stuff like that, too. There's game stuff there. Yeah.